Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today I'm going to make a delicious dish that is made up of potatoes or you can say fries. And if you're a fry lover, you're absolutely going to love it. I'm a fries lover as well and I would rather say that I love this recipe. And this does not take that much of ingredients. With just few ingredients, we're going to make this delicious dish. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, I've taken four potatoes, I've washed them and I've peeled them quite well. And with that, I'm gonna cut it into finger style or you can say into fries form, just like fries. Or you can use also a fry cutter that would be rather much easier. So I'm doing it with the help of a knife, do it carefully and do it with all the four potatoes one by one. Just do it properly. It might take a little bit of time. But to make something delicious, we have to do a little struggle. So I'm going to cut it one by one. I'm going to place it into a separate bowl. I'm going to do it with all the four potatoes. And then we're going to move towards the next part. Well, if you don't have a fry cutter, you can just do it with knife. Just follow the same process like I'm doing it. It would be much easier. Now you can see the cutting of all the potatoes are done. Now we're going to move towards the next part. And we're going to add a little bit of corn flour into it. I'm going to take three tablespoons of corn flour. I'm going to spread it all over the fries. After adding three tablespoons of corn flour, we're going to mix it quite well. You can also use your hand to mix it, but wear the glove so that it does not make it messy. Well, coat it quite well and then we're going to move towards the next part. By doing it with spoon, it makes it a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna do it this way you can also do it if you're like easier to do it otherwise you can do it with your hands so all the coating is done now we're going to move towards the next part now it's time to fry them I have taken some oil heated it up and I have turned the flame on medium and I'm gonna place one or two potatoes and check whether the potatoes get fried if there will be bubbles then I'm gonna add all of it otherwise the oil is not heated up so we're not going to make them just completely fried we're going to make them 70 percent of them to get fried not that crispy one and we're gonna let it fry while these are getting fried why don't you just go and hit the subscribe button once you're gonna hit the subscribe button you will see a bell icon hit it and you will be updated by my latest videos on the first go so let's come back to the fry part now you can see these have turned out to be soft we are not going to make them crispy or like turn them brown but once this turns out to be softer we're going to take them out so these are not just fries but it's gonna be a dish made up of fries so we're not going to make it brown golden brown i'm gonna take it out you can also use a strainer to make it less oily so that the excessive oil from these fries get out of air so the potatoes have gotten fried now we're gonna take some oil into a separate pan and with that i'm gonna take one and a half teaspoon chopped ginger and one half teaspoon chopped garlic you can also take a ready-made that's available in any supermarket ginger and garlic with that i've taken some green chilies i've cut it off like i've chopped it and then we're gonna let it fry for like one minute and then we're going to move towards the next part uh, like that's going to be onion i've taken a small onion chopped it and you can chop the same size of the onion and now we're going to saute it for one minute well i've added a little bit more green chilies you can just decrease or increase the quantity of green chilies because some people like to eat less spices with that i'm going to add one and a half teaspoon chili powder flakes and white powder as well i've added it and i'm gonna mix it quite well so as far as i said you can increase or decrease the amount of chili flakes or whatever the spices it's up to you whether you want like more or less with that i have taken capsicum i have taken one small capsicum and i've added into it i'm gonna add one and a half teaspoon salt you can increase or decrease the amount of salt and i'm gonna add sesame seed 
well sesame seeds are like so good for health and these look so delicious in any dish so these are going to increase the tastiness of the dish we are making i'm gonna stir it and uh, i'm going to stir it with a wooden spoon so that the non-stickness of the pan does not get destroyed well while using uh, a non-stick pan you have to use a wooden or plastic spoon if you're going to use a metallic spoon that might destroy the non-stickness of the pan okay i have added one tablespoon of soya sauce and then we're going to add the next thing that's going to be red chili sauce and i've added ketchup three tablespoons so let's move towards the next part that's going to be one and a half cup of spring onion and we're going to mix it quite well so that the all ingredients get mixed and we're gonna let it cook for one minute after cooking for one minute i'm going to add flour corn flour and water mixture just make the right amount of air and then mix it it's going to make the mixture a little thick it will change the consistency and now you have to stir it constantly otherwise there would be a little bit of clumps into the dish and now you can see it has thickened now we're going to add a vinegar i have added one tablespoon vinegar and i'm gonna mix it quite well the vinegar will give it a better taste if you do not want like the soreness so you can skip the vinegar part now i'm gonna add the potatoes into it and i'm going to mix it again now mix it quite well and our recipe is about to be ready now i'm going to take it into a representable dish and i'm gonna serve it in front of the guests well i'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds onto it and that's gonna give it a good garnishing and good representation so if you really like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and your family and do subscribe to my channel and if you have any query related to any video you can just comment down and let me know whether you like the video or not and i'll be bringing you more and more delicious recipe so till then goodbye see you in the next video and thanks for watching